Welcome back. I'm Kevin Locken with Mitchell Acoustical, and today we're going to be installing a feature wall in my conference room using Reno Board. For transparency, Reno Board did reach out to us. Um, they did supply us with the material, but we're not being paid for any of our opinions or thoughts on this product. In this wall behind me, uh, it is 93 by 126. Um, we're gonna be using a running bond type pattern, uh, which means we're going to use about a third of this tile, eight inches, and then the other 16 will fit on the other side of that. Um, and we'll stagger them accordingly as we go vertical in this process. Based on our design choices in the office, uh, we've got a lot of blues, blacks, grays, and whites. Um, and so for the, for the feature wall, I wanted to go with the light concrete uh, run board finish. Um, these boards were created to look like stone but have more flexibility um, and are lighter weight for easier installation. Um, on the back, um, it's best to stick to non-textured surfaces and you want to sand, paint, and prime your walls uh, prior to installation. We have a pretty, um, we, we just have a painted wall, so there's not going to be any prep work that we're, we're going to need to do aside from taking off the electrical covers and our TV mount uh, prior to installation. So we've got our measurements and we know our uh, pattern that we want to use. Like I said, it's a running bond. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this at eight inches, which will leave me 16 left for the field for the farther corners and then to use as a starter piece on the next uh, row. Just want to let you guys know, there's, there's no special tools needed. You need a tape measure, you need a utility knife and a pencil. Uh, as well as a, a straight edge, so you, you need a square as well. Um, we just happen to have a vinyl tile cutter. Um, it's It'll fit 12 inches. There's bigger ones out there as well. Um, but in this instance, we're going to go ahead and use the cutter just because we have it available. Um, this is like 20 to $30 at Home Depot. They're, they're nothing crazy if you want to go ahead and buy them. Um, but other than that, you can just use a straight utility knife and you'll be fine. But we're going to go ahead and get these... Uh, cut and we should be able to start stacking here shortly. Now that we've got our starter pieces cut, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take the outlets off and we're gonna you know, unmount the TV uh, so that we can get started. We've got our first piece installed, um, but in this instance, we know that our floor isn't level. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do, and we, and we already have the, the vinyl base on, so what we're gonna go ahead and do, um, because this is an after construction type situation, we're gonna go ahead and trim out this feature wall anyways. So if you guys see gaps along the wall, just know that we're trying to follow this straight up and that it will be trimmed uh, eventually. Immediately after the install of our first piece, uh, we have an outlet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that out and show you guys uh, how I go about doing that. So I'm going to measure in past these prongs so that these prongs, once I reinstall it, stick out um, and come on to the face of this so that this install can, the outlet will be the same flush as, as the cover. got my box laid out here. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but I've got a little box here that we're going to go ahead and score. Sometimes just marking out for the box is actually harder than the install of it.
Once we got past our outlets, uh, the field went nice and easy. These things stick very nice and you can pull them off easily as well uh, so that if you have to make little tiny adjustments here and there, it's a breeze. But we've come to the point of a project where we have to cut around our TV mount. Now, we could go ahead and pull this off, you know, run it flush, but then we still have to contend with two more outlets. I don't wanna do that. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my numbers here get a little uh, L leg coming around here and just cut two pieces and then get back to uh, running the rows. All right, uh, 15 and 3 eighths. And um, we can do like two and an eighth. Runner boards are designed to cover more area than your average peel and stick products. They also give you more room to be creative so DIYers can apply them in any direction and cut out any shapes that they like. I'm trying to slip this in here and give it a little bit of space um, so that we can fit in. So as you guys can see, we just finished up with the installation. Um, these runner boards can be installed in any uh, indoor application. They are waterproof, but not fireproof. For us, it seemed like a great product. Um, we had a little bit of a need for it in our office as just something to break up kind of the uh, blue and white walls. Um, so this is a nice backdrop setting for when we have uh, customers come into our conference room. Um, and it looks great you know, with the, with the backdrop of the TV. Um, really simple and easy installation process. Um, you know, once we got it cut and the rows set and figured out where our lines were actually gonna be, um, you know, everybody's wall will be different, but for us, um, this is gonna work out. We're gonna go ahead and trim it, like I, like I made mention afterwards, so it'll have a nice little pop to it uh, as well. But some of my guys are out of town right now, so <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to get that done later, um, you know, while I did this install now. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you guys have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'll leave a link in the description for Renault Board uh, below. Um, and until next time, have a good one. Take care.